Uh, so I'm here, um, thanks to IRSE, IRSE, uh, to on a special day for English people, St. George's Day, April the 23rd, which is also Shakespeare's birthday. And uh, the subject of my talk is uh, Brits and Pieces, which is a play on words. Uh, there is a phrase, bits and pieces, little bits, uh, broken pieces, and... Uh, uh, this is Brits, uh, British people, in pieces, because we are in search of a new identity, trying to define ourselves in the 21st century. Uh, the, the Scots know who they are, the um, Welsh know who they are, and uh, the people of Northern Ireland know who they are, but uh, we English, and also we British, are not sure exactly who we are and what we are supposed to be about. One of my other jobs, or roles, I should say, is uh, this is Joyce Hoover, Brighton's leading landlady. Uh, she's been called the host mother from hell. I should explain, she is uh, a landlady uh, who takes foreign students into her home uh, in Brighton on the south coast of England, extends British hospitality to them for a certain amount of money, of course, and. Uh, teaches them how to be British. And uh, this uh, uh, archetypal British lady with her cup of tea and her rather mm, xenophobic attitude to foreigners, uh, but really good-hearted though. Well, I believe that uh, there are excellent English courses here at IRSE in Pordenane with very good teachers. But of course, if you want to improve your English uh, rapidly and speak uh, the proper English uh, as spoken by the likes of, um, well, Mrs. Hoover, Margaret Thatcher, David Beckham. Well, I'm not sure about David Beckham, but if you want to improve your English fast and uh, speak well, the best thing is to come to the country.